The Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra has received positive reviews overall, but early adopters have expressed dissatisfaction, particularly with the device's display. Reddit users have voiced concerns about the S24 Ultra's colors, noting they don't match up to older Samsung models like the Galaxy S23 Ultra. Some users mention issues with a lackluster modification area and unappealing colors on the home screen and app drawer. A Samsung insider shared additional complaints, with one user expressing a preference for the S23 Ultra's appearance over the S24 Ultra due to the latter's perceived dullness. Initially, there were speculations that the anti-reflective Corning Gorilla Glass Armor, a new feature on the Samsung screen, might be causing picture quality problems. However, it became evident that the issue was a software bug rather than a hardware flaw. The bug seems to be related to the vivid display color mode, known for its bright, intense colors, though not always accurate. Many users prefer this mode over the natural one, which aims to display colors more true to life. Samsung has acknowledged these concerns and is actively working on a software update to address the display issues. A leaked chat screenshot between a Samsung support representative and an S24 user suggests that the company is aware of the display problems and is committed to resolving them through an upcoming software update. The device initially launched with One UI 6.1 and the January 2024 security patch. While the exact release date for the display fix remains undisclosed, there's optimism that Samsung will address these concerns in the forthcoming February 2024 security patch. The early announcement of the S24 in January, deviating from the usual schedule, raises the possibility that Samsung hurried the release, potentially contributing to the multitude of software bugs. Another plausible scenario is that the software wasn't fully prepared, necessitating a comprehensive update to address the reported issues. Many users have taken to platforms like Reddit, Samsung forums, and various online communities to report bugs and share their concerns about the S24 series. Here's a summary of the reported problems. 1. FPS meter inaccuracy. A significant issue with the FPS meter in games, displaying over 55 FPS, even when the actual game FPS is at 45. This discrepancy can be confusing, especially for gamers relying on it for testing. 2. Display color problems. The phone's display has a problem with color modes. While there are typically two modes, natural and vibrant, the default on the S24 series is natural, and users can't switch to vibrant. This is frustrating for those who prefer lively colors. 3. Dark videos in certain modes. When recording videos, especially using the selfie camera in specific modes like 1080p and 4K 60fps, the videos turn out very dark with crushed shadows. 4. Dark images on Instagram and Snapchat. Apps like Instagram and Snapchat, which utilize the camera, produce images that are excessively dark. 5. Blurry video calls. Video calls on apps like WhatsApp or Facebook look blurry and hazy. This issue seems to be related to the developers of these apps. 6. Weak signal reception. The S24 Ultra reportedly has poor signal reception. I seem to spend all my time with this phone on either two to three bars while I'm outside, and then literally zero to one when I'm inside. With users experiencing low bars and speed issues, especially indoors. 7. Navigation troubles. Some users are encountering difficulties with navigation on the S24 series. 8. Camera issues. The S24 Ultra camera faces various problems, including inconsistent colors, soft selfies, issues with the 200 megapixel mode resulting in noisy and blurry pictures, and general problems with skin tones and exposure. 9. Fingerprint scanner problems. Users are reporting problems with the fingerprint scanner. 10. Green tint on display. Some phones exhibit a green tint on the display. 11. Bug reports on community forum. The community forum is flooded with bug reports, including the absence of an option to set a notification tone for all text messages and some units being stuck with a default tone. 12. No support for 32-bit apps. The S24 series doesn't support 32-bit apps, causing compatibility issues with some third-party apps. 13. Always-on display glitches. The always-on display feature doesn't work properly showing a red font for constant users, not allowing proper customization, and sometimes failing to set user-added images. 14. Wi-Fi connection issues. Phones face trouble connecting to 6 GHz Wi-Fi networks with slow or no internet access. Some users report issues with Asus Wi-Fi routers. 15. Gestures and navigation dislikes. 
many users expressed dissatisfaction with gestures and navigation in One UI 6.1, citing missing features like hidden navigation buttons. 16. Samsung Keyboard Problems Issues with the Samsung keyboard include a missing icon and voice input icon from the navigation bar. 17. Motion Cam Limitations Some apps like Motion Cam don't allow shooting raw photos. 18. AI Features Not Functioning Certain artificial intelligence features, such as the photo editor and tap to slow videos down, are reported not working properly. 19. Wireless charging and heating issues. The phone may become hot or not charged properly with wireless chargers. 20. Wired headphones disconnection. Wired headphones connected via the USB-C port may disconnect, and audio may pause randomly. If you are a Galaxy S24 Ultra user, feel free to share which issue or bug you are currently facing in the comments section. The observation about the performance of Samsung's latest smartphone chip, the Exynos 2400, compared to the iPhone 15 Pro in handling the demanding game Genshin Impact is noteworthy. A user named Gary in Hand initially suggested that the Exynos 2400 outperformed the iPhone 15 Pro in this context. However, a subsequent tweet pointed out that the Exynos 2400 didn't face any issues with the game due to the texture resolution being set to low. This additional information suggests that while the Exynos chip performed well, it might have had an advantage because of the lower graphics settings in the game at that time. It's acknowledged that the Exynos 2400 still exhibits impressive performance, and the lower resolution of the game on the Galaxy S24 might be attributed to the developers not optimizing it for the device at that specific time. Optimizations for specific devices can indeed significantly impact gaming performance, and future updates or optimizations may further enhance the gaming experience on the Galaxy S24 with the Exynos 2400 chip. The comparison between the Exynos 2400 and the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, conducted by Nana Review, provides detailed technical information and results from performance tests using tools like Antutu and Geekbench. Here's a summary of the comparison. CPU performance, Exynos 2400, 2497 points, Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 to 98 points, Gaming performance, GPU, Exynos 2400, 2497 points, Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 to 100 points, Efficiency of battery consumption, Exynos 2400, 2486 points, Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 to 91 points, Overall chip score, Exynos 2400, 2495 points. Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 to 98 points. Pros of Samsung Exynos 2400. Two additional cores compared to Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. GPU operates at a higher frequency, approximately 31% faster. Pros of Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. Higher score in Antutu benchmarks, up to 26% better. In performance tests using Antutu, the Exynos 2400 scored a total of 1,648,252, while the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 scored 2,795,042. In Geekbench 6, the single core score for Exynos 2400 was 2,195 points, and Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 scored 2,181 points. For the multi-core score, Exynos 2400 scored 6920 points, and Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 scored 7250 points. Both chips exhibit high capabilities, with the Exynos 2400 being a newer model with 10 cores, offering two additional cores over the Snapdragon and a significantly faster GPU frequency. This is particularly advantageous for heavy graphics processing. However, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 demonstrates superior performance in several key areas, including CPU performance, gaming, and battery efficiency. The Exynos 2400 represents a substantial performance boost from Samsung's previous chips, showcasing advanced core configuration, a significantly faster GPU, and competitive performance in benchmark tests. This highlights Samsung's commitment to innovation and improvement in chipset technology. While the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 maintains a slight edge in some areas, the advancements and overall performance of the Exynos 2400 make it a formidable contender in the current chipset market, especially for users prioritizing graphics performance and processing power.